me now welcome gagan and uh, a very happy new year to you and i believe you have some updates for us and then some info on the express entry hello vidya and happy new year to you as well and to our listeners so yes canada never fails to surprise us we mm-hmm. have some few updates and i'm going to just quickly tell two of these updates uh one canada ha- has uh, started uh, resuming grad with the negative covid test as a requirement for air travelers but it is just from individuals traveling from china and hong kong we'll keep you posted if this uh, requirement extends to other countries as well mm-hmm. and uh, the second uh, second new update we have and it's so much in news starting january 1st uh, we've seen an act coming in place called prohibition on the purchase of residential property by non canadians Uh, this act essentially places a ban on purchase of residential properties by non-Canadians. Uh, this will be relevant for anyone uh, who's a U.S. citizen and looking to purchase a uh, city dwellings. So this is someone uh, something for them to be aware of. This ban is there for two years, and it is supposed to uh, cool down the uh, residential market there in Canada. Uh huh. So now jumping on to our main topic which is express entry invariably this always catches the attention and is always a focus of our discussion just because Canada offers me uh, express entry as a main pathway to welcome skilled workers to Canada now if you are a recent graduate you completed your OPT or you just started on H1B you may still want to consider applying for Canada's permanent residency while in US or while outside Canada and the program that you would be eligible is called a uh, federal skilled worker program there are three main requirements or three main minimum requirements for this program one you have to have, have a skilled work experience this can be this should be a continuous work experience and any experience gained as Uh, as a student is also counted mm-hmm. second your language test uh, in english uh, or french uh, is counted and that you must meet a band of seven in all abilities which is writing reading speaking and listening mm-hmm. and third requirement is the education credentials which you, you should obtain directly from one of the designated organizations only once you meet these three minimum requirements can you Uh, then advance to the next level of creating a profile and applying for permanent residency while outside of Canada. If you have questions, just feel free to reach out to us. Mm-hmm, absolutely, okay. and uh, thank you so much, Gagan, for expressly updating us on all things uh, uh, Canadian immigration uh, related. So, if you're looking to get that Canadian immigration, you're looking to secure a U.S. green card, citizenship, adjustment of status, H-1B visa, or marriage cases, then you know where to go. It's the NPZ Law Group, and you can log on to visaserve.com to reach them. Visaserve.com or call them at two zero one. Six seven zero zero one 